So this is where the really important part of Flipper SS comes into play. This is where you enter your feed and select which groups within your audience you want the feeds to display for. So first of all, we've got to find a feed. So Seth Godin's blog, um, I know the feed is at seth.blog.feed. And I'm just going to paste that in to Flipper SS. As soon as we find the feed, it's dropped in below. So if we want, we can change the title of the feed and we can opt whether this is displayed within the newsletter or not. We can set the maximum number of posts from this feed that we display in any one newsletter. So let's say we only want a maximum of five to appear. We can then pick a, a group which is pre-set up within our MailChimp account. So we can see we've got different interest groups that people can subscribe to when they sign up to our newsletter. And we're gonna pick the Seth group and then we can change the layout for the posts within this feed. So the options are in line, where you've got an image to the left, the title and the description to the right. Block, where you've got full width image, title and description below. Hero, which is just image, full width image and a title. And text only. So for the SAS blog, we're going to pick text only. There are additional options here where we can select the feed. We can select new items only. So if there are only three items since our last newsletter was sent. We'll only pull in the latest three, even though our maximum number of items is set to five. So you won't have your subscribers receive duplicate content over different weeks. We can then, as we said before, choose whether to show the feed title or not. And we just click out of that. And we can save. You can add additional newsletters. So here we're going to go to the do lectures. We're going to pick their feed address we're going to paste that in and we're going to drop that in below again we can change this here we can just change this to do lectures we're going to set that for anybody who subscribes with the interest group of the do and we're going to make this one hero and because this is our hero content we're going to want to move this to the top so it's just drag and drop and once we're happy we've added all our feeds in we can just click save and that's it that's our feed set um, once you've finished setting up the rest of your campaign and you've set up a test email in our two section, you can send a test and see how that'll look.